Hey guys, today I'm reviewing the Glow Part 2 by The Microphones. Thing is, is The Microphones is all one dude named Phil Evram, Evram, Evram. I don't know his name, but he made The Microphones and then he changed the name to Mount Erie. So he has two different names. He released like four albums in this, went to Mount Erie, came back, released an album this year under The Microphones. This is the most renowned microphones project go anywhere online people love the fuck out of this album now do i like this album well i mean it's not bad the glow part 2 starts off with the track i won't win to blow which i think is an excellent opener the track splits evenly in half there's the beginning section where it's phil and his guitar and some background guitar or some shit and it's just playing you can tell the lyrics right off the bat this album's gonna be sad as hell it's gonna be depressing as hell and you're in for a good time but the thing is is then halfway through the song phil's lyrics cut off we hear instrumental guitar and then fucking it cuts to this abrasive drum heavy section and right there in the intro we encapsulate the entire album because that's what we're going to hear throughout the rest of the album we're going to hear these slow acoustic parts and then we're also going to hear these abrasive hard-hitting parts throughout the whole album phil's lyrics are obviously one of the main points he is going through it my man's is down horrendous he is definitely um fucking sad he just broke up and he's struggling this whole album is about him dealing with that and one of the main issues with this album is that to get a lot of the context you gotta listen to all the other albums the microphones discography i'm not gonna be focusing on that too much because i think that takes away from this album but if you listen to this and you like this listen to the microphones discography in order as that makes every single album better because they each build on each other to this kind of total story especially if you're gonna listen to mount erie after the glow part two personally i kind of like the acoustic parts a lot more than the hard hitting parts because the hard hitting parts are few and far between it maybe happens four or five times throughout the album phil does a really good job at placing them in points where it makes sense and it's not overbearing the acoustic parts are definitely the highlight and phil probably knew this that's why they take up the majority of the album and i mean i love the atmosphere the coziness of this album but there are a few downsides there's i kind of have a few complaints so going straight off the bat, I'm fine with instrumental music, right? I, you know, I review Godspeed. I love Godspeed. There's around like four or five instrumental tracks on this album. There's instrumental, instrumental one, and then there's something one and something. Instrumental and instrumental one are fine. I like instrumental, the track, because this is getting really confusing. So the two tracks instrumental are really good and i like them because they play off of previous tracks but at the end of my roots are strong and deep instrumental starts playing and my roots are strong and deep which is a track bleeds into the instrumental track which in a way just combines them to make a longer better track in my opinion and the same thing for instrumental too problem with something and something one is that they seem really out of place to me and they're just these random more noise instrumental tracks not more structured which is fine but the thing is is that they don't really fit in my opinion they don't play off of another song they just are in the album and you could say well it helps build the atmosphere well i i don't really think it does because it doesn't really fit in that well and that brings me to my big issue with this album the final track my warm blood i kind of have a lot of issues with the thing is is that the fucking song is only really like two minutes long. The song plays for like two minutes, we immediately hit hard, and then we go back to the acoustic to end off with Phil singing his heart out. Amazing, great outro. Now you might be wondering, if the song's 10 minutes, and you just talked about the first two minutes, then what's about the rest of the fucking eight minutes? Now the thing with that is that there's like this heart beat ish noise people call it a heartbeat but it's not really a heartbeat and people are like well it symbolizes phil dying in the forest after the samurai swords attack that's the previous track samurai sword and i can i guess but like it's just it's just a boring outro in my opinion throughout the outro those last eight minutes of the outro song you can faintly hear songs from the rest of the album play through and you can see that as maybe memories of phil playing through the issue with that is you're not going to hear it unless you turn your volume up so if you're listening to this for the final track turn your fucking volume up but after listening to this album so many times for this video i fucking by my final listen i was just like i'm just gonna fucking skip this i would listen to the first two minutes of the last song and then i would skip it because i really did not enjoy the outro i think the first two minutes serve as a perfect outro to this album but he adds the eight 
which I don't really think is necessary. And some people might say, well, it leads into the next album, which it does, but that's my whole point. I'm reviewing The Glow Part 2. I'm not reviewing The Glow Part 2 and Mount Erie. So why would I care about an eight minute outro that leads to a next album? I think it's boring and I think it takes away from the album. It's exactly how I feel about something and something one, those instrumental tracks I mentioned earlier. And for those reasons that I stated, I'm gonna have to give The Glow Part 2 an eight out of 10. I know that might be a shocker to most, especially online, but I really just think these three tracks take a lot away from the album where it could have just done something else or completely removed them and been a lot better experience. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate all the support recently and all the new subscribers. And I'm going to try to get videos out Monday and Friday um, and maybe on Wednesdays. Anyways, thank you for watching. I felt your falls, your winter snows, your gusty 